Good morning, folks. I'm Danette Gomez Bean, I direct recruitment and operations at Virginia Tech, Office of Undergraduate Admissions. And I'm out for my jog this morning and you're gonna join me. I'm not a Hollywood producer, so apologies for my uncut version of this video, but I think you'd appreciate it as a student and as a parent. So let's get running. So typically in this time of year, we would be hosting you on campus, showing you this gorgeous, gorgeous place. In that building behind me, above my shoulder, um, is the visitor center, and we would be hosting you there. And many of you may be, have had reservations at the Inn at Virginia Tech, and many of you would have stayed here at the hotel. You can see the parking lot's pretty empty right now. And then we're gonna venture onto campus and see all the academic buildings together as I run around. We have a really nice musical accompaniment in the background coming out of our Burris Hall, which is our main administrative building, so I'll let you listen to that. So we're on the back side of the hotel here. This is the Holtzman Alumni Center. For those of you who have family members who are Hokies, this is where we would host them in this beautiful location. I too am a Hokie, twice. I've got a master's and PhD here at this glorious place called Virginia Tech. Let's go see some more. I pause for a second to take in this beautiful reflection on our duck pond. You can see this little area, kind of a romantic space on campus. Geese and duck in the background, and cyclists. No vehicles, <laughs> very quiet. Typically this is a very busy road. So we have, we have here a golfer up and at him early this morning. A little golf course here. It's only a nine hole golf course behind the Holtzman Alumni Center. Got some geese in the background and our golf carts. So, on your typical tours at Virginia Tech, you see most of the academic buildings. Uh, this is not the academic building. You'll see the no trespassing sign, otherwise, I'd jump into this ropes course, obstacle course that is reserved for our Corps of Cadets. And you'll see it goes on quite a long way. So they do some training back here. I don't have all the details, but our recruiter, Rewa Maringer, Lieutenant Colonel Rewa Maringer, will help you understand the Corps of Cadets. But this is one of the places where they come out and do some fitness training. So Virginia Tech's one of the fittest campuses in the country. Lots of runners, joggers, cyclists, uh, just people staying in shape. We do have these cool little roam bikes uh, to kind of help students get to their house if they're off campus or on campus over this 2600 acre place. And um, we also are pet friendly, so that's nice that we have a little pet waste area in case you need to clean up. So I topped over a hill and wanted to share this pretty view with you. You can see this hokey truck <laughs> in this big empty parking lot. And then behind it's a silo. You'll see one of our farms. You can probably see some farm animals back there. Virginia Tech is a land grant institution. Lots of farmland, horses, cows, sheep, you name it. We even have a bear sanctuary back there. All part of uh, our mission as a land grant. There's a really good view of our drone facility. So Virginia Tech, known for a lot of its innovation, is one of few places that is authorized to train 
um, people with drone use. So lots of innovative things going on there. A view of the gorgeous Blue Ridge Mountains in the background, part of our Jefferson National Forest in Southwest Virginia. And then again, a parking lot where you would be parking your cars. First year students can have vehicles on campus and this is where you'd be parking. All right, taking a quick break here. Had a, a little bus stop. This is our Blacksburg Transit bus stop. You can see it's nice and covered, has some seating. It's a rainy day and it's up against a lot of academic buildings and out the corner of campus right before our vet school and you can see the schedule here. So it is part of your tuition and fees to use our Blacksburg Transit. So use it wisely. I can tell you that students love it. It's very reliable and it runs frequently. So thought I'd show you that. far but it is through these trees about half a mile past that top tree you can see a crane flying off there in the distance another beautiful water space on campus here next to our College of Veterinary Medicine a little water flowing here on this pretty little bridge that I'm about to run across all right, folks, so y'all remember that crane that just flew off? Check it out, check it out, excuse me. <laughs> just landed up in that tree, pretty and majestic, looking over Blacksburg. Pretty cool. So this is kind of cool. Virginia Tech, um, this is our like sports entrance at Southgate. Many of you have spent time in this huge lane stadium where we play our football games. But they built this really nice running area on alongside Southgate, which used to not be here. And it's got this gorgeous paved trail um, that you can take underneath the road. So we're gonna go venture through that together. Here we go. Never been through here before, so we're gonna do this together. Woo! This is bouncy. Hold on. Let me see if I can steady it at all. Oh, why don't I just walk? All right. <laughs> so coming through this cool tunnel that's built, I'm going to do it in slow motion. Okay, so when you come and visit, you'll see that you'll enter here off of 460 and you'll come onto campus like this car's doing and you will venture into our roundabout, which is going to be way down here, sorry about that, and you'll make a decision. Let's see what this car decides. You can go towards the stadium and exit or you can continue to go as this car is doing towards our baseball field and on to West Campus Drive, Duck Pond Drive, back down this way, which we just came from. Yep. So I found a place to rest on campus. There's this nice little bench here in a shady spot. Looks like it was dedicated here and here next to the athletic portion of campus. I just want to make a shout out to our grounds facilities maintenance folks on campus. They are amazing. They have a lifetime commitment to this place that is so beautiful and manicured and perfect for your son daughter to come and spend their four years making this their home. I will tell you I am excited that my daughter is going to be applying this year and I'm hoping she will make this her home as I have made it mine the last 16 years. All 
Um, this little part of campus has really changed. This used to be a through street to the airport and they've blocked it off because I think they're expanding the runway there. But you'll also see the parking services is tucked behind this tree. You'll see the sign way over there. So if you want to get your parking pass, that's where you'd get it. And you can park anywhere on campus that allows you to park. And here's a big parking lot that is right across from the stadium. We use this a lot for special events like open houses and career fairs and things. So a lot of our vendors will park here. And then they'll get shuttled onto our main campus, which is really not that far. Some people choose to walk it, but we do have shuttle services too. And then another parking lot here next to the stadium, you'll see Beamer Way. Beamer Way is this road here, Beamer's Frank Beamer. Google who that is if you don't know. Big part of Virginia Tech's history and identity. So we'll keep going. This is a cool little place to outpost for a minute, right here next to our stadium and flagpoles. I mentioned earlier that we're on Beamer Way. We're about to say hi to the legendary coach. So, good morning. Thanks for giving your talents to Virginia Tech for so long. In this, I'm standing in the center of Washington Avenue. This is unheard of. Washington Avenue is right next to our Coliseum and next to our stadium. Also right next to a bunch of um, housing and athletic facilities as well as our Career Smith Center, our Student Services Building, and um, one of my favorite places to eat on campus which is Dietrich which is behind me. Um, it's quiet. You can see I have one vehicle that was about to hit me, so I got out of the road. But typically this is a really busy intersection. Football fans come through here to park their cars to go to football, basketball, volleyball. Um, thousands of kids move on to campus. We house about 9,000 students on our campus in these um, residence halls. And today it's just quiet. You just hear the birds. We're at uh, the far corner entrance of campus here um, at Virginia Tech that hugs downtown. So if I go straight, I'll go downtown. If I go back, I'll go towards the stadium. If I take a left, I go towards the Graduate Life Center and the bookstore. Um, and so I'm gonna go towards the bookstore and continue our tour. All right, taking another breather here at the bookstore. Um, you'll see the bookstore is actually right smack at the top of campus. So I have um, Squire Student Center to my right. I have the library right in front of me. The drill field is to my left. And then East Eagleson Hall is at the corner here. So sitting at this little spot helps me tell you a little bit about the breadth of what we do. So our libraries at Virginia Tech are one of my favorite places on campus. They do a fantastic job of building community, creating um, synergistic spaces for students to manipulate furniture so they're able to do projects in a group setting or small group, individual, wonderful Wi-Fi and uh, plug-in connections here. There's a coffee house on the first floor. They even have their own caterer because so many events happen in our libraries. So that's just kind of indicative of what Virginia Tech's about. It's just a community that's vibrant and constantly learning together. Um, again, bookstore behind me. I don't have to plug that. You know what's in there. <laughs> um, Graduate Life Center, if you're interested, we have over 120 graduate degrees that complement our over 100 um, undergraduate degrees. So, um, it's, again, an opportunity. Got a little maintenance guy going by in his little buggy. <laughs> And then the Squire Student Center, um, you, many of you may have sp spent time there, but we have some eateries in there, but also um, we have small theaters in there, classroom space, um, all of our cultural and community centers, um, and um, many of the offices for the uh, Division of Student Affairs is in there. So great place, one-stop shop for many students to get their needs met. So let's keep going. So I 
I felt this was an important place to stop. Um, this is the War Memorial. So Virginia Tech is um, founded in 1872 as a military institute. We um, were here, we sent many of our students overseas to fight in many of the battles. And I want to take this moment to just acknowledge the fact that none of us could be here today without the sacrifices of others. My father's a Vietnam vet. I'm a first generation college student. So this is really meaningful to me because people had to pave the way for me to be at this beautiful place. And I mentioned how beautiful it is. I had a bystander walking by and asked to take this video and you can see his shadow here and offered to do this for me so I could be hands free for a second to reflect for a moment. So we're gonna end our tour here. Um, parents, again, I just want you to know that this place, if you can see behind me, um, this centerpiece with this Medal of Honor, we're actually one of the only places in the world that have um, twin brothers that earned the Medal of Honor and they're recognized here. <laughs> and um, this perfect centerpiece of campus with the, uh, the drill field where our cadets do their drills, with the backdrop of all these academic buildings um, and just this, this beautiful place that again I call home and I hope that you'll be able to call home as well.